In this video, I'll go in depth into Canvas video editor and I will show you the interface, timeline, trimming, splitting and much more about Canvas video editor. Although I used Canva Pro account to demo this video, most of the things we'll see are doable with the free version of Canva. But if there is a paid utility, I have indicated that as well. Once you're on the Canva website, you can start your video project by clicking here on videos and start a video blank one here. I will always prefer starting from a blank so that we can start and pour into our creativities. But if you are running short of time, you can choose a template. You can also start from a custom size. So let's start with the blank one here. And at the outside, you will see this timeline here at the bottom and the canvas on this main area here and uh, some of the tools on the left side and the templates and styles and footages that you upload will show up here. I have already added some of my videos. So let's go there. So this is where I have added some of the footages here. So in this case, you can um, go ahead and add any of your free stock footages that Canva gives you here from the um, apps section where you can go to the apps and you can search and go to the videos and choose any of the videos that you want to here add to your project. Or you can also upload your own videos using the upload section. You can also add images, text, motion graphics, icons and uh, in some regions Canva also allows us to record our own screen or ourselves through the webcam. But for India users, this option is currently not available due to a lawsuit. So once you add the videos here, the first thing that you want to see is that maybe sometimes you don't want the entire video to be in your project. In that case, you want to trim the videos, right? So you can trim it by just dragging this portion over here, which will trim. Or you can just click on this video footage, which is just a video added over here within this frame and um, click on this option here where the scissors are shown to trim it. Trimming can be done from the start or the end. But what about portions in between where you want to trim? And that's where the splitting option will help. But when you start your new project, you will see all these thumbnails here, unlike how I showed before. So for this to show up, you'll have to click on this duration button, wherein this will change to this one, where the seek bar will also be visible. And wherever you want to split the video, you can right click and click on split page. Or you can also hit the keyboard shortcut S. This happens for anything like image or a video footage or anything that you have on your timeline. And then you can trim the middle portions of your video if you don't want that particular portion of your footage. Speaking of which, if you have more footages that you want to add to your video project, you can also use the picture in picture wherein you add another footage within your screen, within your canvas, and then you can put it as an overlay so that you can have this as a picture in picture and uh, let both the videos play when you export it. You can also create a dreamy effect by making this completely on your uh, covering your canvas and uh, using transparency to show both the videos here. So if at all you have any pattern or any design or any green screen effect on your footages, you can place it com completely to cover your canvas and reduce the transparency so that you can have both the footages run on uh, when you export it. So just a small tip there. All right, so now that we have added the footages, so one thing that we can do is you can also individually animate the video clips on its entry or exit or both. So how do we do that? You click on this and then click on animation and you can use these options to uh, have basic effects added to your uh, footages that you added. You can also use transitions within your uh, footage clips here. So how do we do that? And in this view here where you see the thumbnails, Place your cursor in between th these two um, footages here where you will see extra options where you can either add a page or add a transition. You want to click on add transition where you'll see these transitions and uh, you can add anything you want here. You can also click this button to apply to apply between all the pages, whatever you have selected here. So these are beautiful transitions that we can make use of. Another option that you can use within your videos is to remove the backgrounds. Uh, although it is not so great at this point, this option can remove a green screen. If at all you have something within your footage, a green screen footage to remove your background, you can use that option. It doesn't do a great job in my experience, if at all, if you don't have any green screen within your or any other backgrounds in your footages. But if you have any uh, common backgrounds, that doesn't do a great job in my experience. And you can, and of course, this is a paid feature. You want to do that by clicking on the footage, click on edit video, and then use the background remover tool. This is a paid feature and not available in the Canva free version. 
the other adjustment options that that's available are like some of the filters that you can use from these uh, adjust option here after click on edit video click on adjust where you can adjust the tint or the warmth or the lightness and uh, you can fade it add more extra effects here saturations vignette all of this and then you can customize your footage so these are the basic edits that's available within canvas video editor you can also rotate it or crop it flip it to show as a mirror image and um, uh, use the playback options to reduce the speed or increase the speed to make it slow motion or faster so all these options are also available within the canva video editor now this is all about the videos but what about the audio so when you have some audio within your video you can also click on this video footage and click on this option to adjust your audio's volume or mute it altogether you can also use a pro feature here where which will enhance the voice that's within this video footage and then you can also upload any of your um, overlay voices that you recorded from outside using audacity or any other software import it into canva and then add it to your timeline here additionally you can also use any audio that's available within your uh, uh, canva and search for audio clips and then drag it to your timeline so i'm going to use this one here once added the timeline will expand to show the audio clips added here which you can again edit and trim and uh, adjust the volume as well another cool effect is to uh, make the sync if you have any beats in your music you can make it sync with your footages so that you can adjust it manually and this will also automatically adjust if you have the canva pro version this is not a music clip it's a voice clip so you will not see any beats in this but but i'm just trying to add this feature here just to show for this demo so this can add uh, beat marks where you can sync with your footages for any transitions or change of scenes there are also other options to add audio sound effects if you go into audio section where in, apart from adding music you can also use and search for any sound effects once you're satisfied with the video editing done within canva you can go into the share option to export your video where you can export it to an mp4 which will provide a great decent looking video without any watermarks even with the free version just make sure that the footages or any free footages that you use within the elements that canva provides doesn't have any of these pro option added to it if that is the case you might have to pay for it but there are plenty of free elements available within canva that you can make use of uh, one thing to remember before you export is if at all you want to see the bigger picture of your footages you can also click on this grid view to see and um, change scenes or juggle your footages uh, to 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 just to check how it looks for you if it, if you're satisfied with that you can close the grid view and then go ahead to the export option if at all you have the canva pro version you can also uh, repurpose your video footage for different uh, platforms by using this option here where you can resize and uh, change the dimensions of your project to export it for different platforms in addition to mp4 there is also an option to export your uh, video as a gif file in case if you're just working on a very very small clip maybe for a meme where you can use the short clip without its sound here and export it as a gif and uh, in addition to that if you have a gif that you also have from like jiffy websites you can import it into canva or even use the app called jiffy within canva here to find gifs and then add to your projects where you can also add sounds to your gif files uh, or change the gif file speed and um, export it along with your project so those are the options to export as well for creating and exporting your video you might have to upload multiple files in images videos audio formats which can easily make your uh, canva uh, workspace a mess if you are in that situation then this video is made just for you with actionable steps on how to intuitively organize your uploads in canva i will see you again in my next video until then you take care and don't forget to read at least one page every day thanks bye